Good morning, everybody. Welcome to My Creative Time with Emma. And also, welcome to our third day of our sneaky peeks from our 132nd edition release. Today, we are all showcasing this brand new background die. Remember, I told you that my son, this was his contribution. He said to do like a background with rain. So, of course, remember I said I showed it to you in the paper pad version, but um, he mentioned we should definitely have a die for this. So, of course, I did it. So, this is what it looks like right here. And I love the way this came out. Um, so, basically, the little, there's stitching in there. And there's little cute little tiny raindrops. Nothing major. There's something very subtle. And I love the way this came out. So, that's called our brand. This is our brand new rain background die. And then, in addition, now, this is the thing that we are showcasing today. This is the brand new um, why don't we showcase and take? So in addition to what I used, the other items that I did use and the stuff we showcased already, for my cards, I used the tulip dies. I also used water in cans. And I used this stamp, um, Life is Better in the Garden. And then I used that, um, that die. Okay, and I also used the little, Life is Better, the little coordinating die to cut out that Life is Better in the Garden. And then um, for one of my card bases, I use the um, circle card app, card add-ons, and I use the, the perfect four-inch circle along with the scallop. And then I also use the base of this. Well, actually, I use the, the embossed um, lines on this, the embossed circles here. I use the bigger one. And then I also use just the base of this card, the four, four this is the four-inch circle card die, okay? So let me go ahead and show you what, how my cards turned out. Um, okay, the first one here, this is cutting it all in the square version here. Well, this is the, when you put that die, it cuts out in a square, not a square, a rectangle for you. And it's perfect. And I believe the size is four by five and a quarter. So it will layer beautifully on an actual standard A2 size. Um, now just, oh, I did use this. I forgot the sentiment in that set. I used just a note and it is one long sentiment, but I went ahead and I cut this. See how you did, see how I popped it up there. What I did was I stamped it and I die cut it and I just kind of trimmed it perfectly so it could look like there were three separate dies. And that's super cute. I love the way that came out and look at how adorable <laughs> my little, Look, you see how everything's popped up, and I love it. Oh, and I also used the paper pad. Let me tell you the papers I used. So basically, the paper I used to cut out the little rain background is this one here, the wood. Um, and then for the, let's see, for the flower, for the little heart. Oh, I also used that heart dye in that set, too. I used the little orange linen, and... For the little flowers, I use the little type print orange. Um, and then for the leaves, I use the type print green. Um, and then for the little, um, what do you call that thing? The little water can, I use this one here, the little gray linen, okay? Super adorable, super simple. I love the way this card came out and I went ahead and stamped in the back, life is better in the garden. Perfect for your gardening friends, right? But it's just, a perfect oops it's a perfect little card just like a, a perfect little note card and you can make a little set of these to give to someone like a little set of four this is really cute with different flowers you could basically case this whole card and just do it with all different color flowers i think it's super cute okay so that is that right there and then for my next card i'll tell you the papers i used for that one i used the linen for the little tulips and then I use this one for one of the backgrounds. Um, and then let's see what else do I do here. Oh, and then I use this part of this paper for one of the backgrounds as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you. Now I kind of wanted to do this just one a tad different. I really wanted to um, make it look like this little, like the rain was coming down, but also like it was, this was watering the little tulip plant at the bottom. Now, I was, my plan was to keep these a little bit longer and put it on an actual A2 size card, but it was too late. I already trimmed them off. I was like, oh man. Um, so anyways, so this is what I came up with and I think it came out super adorable. I try to put little glossy accents where the little 
raindrops are, but I'm not sure if you can see that or not. But I did do Wink of Stella on here. Um, and you see how I kind of popped that up and like kind of curved it to make it look a little bit more realistic. I wish I would have done that to this one here, but I thought about it after the fact. This was probably the very first cards I made as soon as this release came to me when I got all my samples. And then what I did was I backed this top piece with the, um, it's like a bluish, purplish cardstock to make the rain that color. Otherwise it would have been on red and white in the background. Um, yeah, so that's it, everybody. That is my, these are my two cards that I created using this brand new die, um, and which is the rain background. This is the one we are showcasing here today. So definitely, um, everything that we are showcasing this week will be available for purchase this Friday, which is Friday, um, April 28th at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Everything will be available for purchase and you can use a coupon code um, and I'll have that code in, you know, everywhere where you can see it and to get 15% off of your entire purchase. Let's see what else. I feel like I'm out of breath. <laughs> um, and I think that's it, everyone. So def definitely head on over to my blog at www.creativetankforme.com to see what the rest of my amazing team has created using this die. And thank you so very much for tuning in, everybody. Have a fabulous day. And I will see you all back here tomorrow for our fourth and final last day of our sneaky peeks. Bye-bye.